how to best calm down by not calming down, okay? <laughs> that, that's how. Think about this. Our emotions is like an ocean. If the ocean's waves is a little bit rocky today, can you all of a sudden say, ocean, calm down? And would it calm down? <laughs> no, the ocean could not give a, you know what I mean, right? It wouldn't care. It wouldn't care, right? But think about this. Think about this. Imagine you're a captain on a ship right now, okay? About to embark on this journey and the, 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 the actual waves are rocky and it's a little bit crazy that day, the, the clouds have come in and it's raining, it's like a storm. Now, if we are wanting the actual sea to be calm, we would struggle when you agree if we were to embark on that journey that day, yes or no? But if you observe a skilled sailor, if they were to embark on that journey through that storm, they would still be able to maintain their relative calmness and still get to that destination. Why? because they are deciding to learn how to ride the waves. And therefore, if you really want to master your emotions, it's about learning how to respond appropriately, like a great captain of a ship. Instead of saying, I need it to be calm, and this is what ends up happening if you say that to yourself, that belief, you gotta be calm, will trigger the sense of, more stress because you're not calm. And it's from that process, the emotions, thoughts, emotions, thoughts begin to create even more stress within you. Yes, because you're not feeling calm and you really want to be it and that's not what's happening. So what we got to do instead is just like what a great sailor does. They practice acceptance. Now, what's the opposite of acceptance is non-acceptance. And non-acceptance stems from the limiting belief. This moment is not how it should be. Notice if you're saying, this isn't how I should be right now, notice how that makes you feel. Let's say you're stressed and you're saying, I shouldn't be stressed right now. Does that make you feel pretty more stressed? Yes or no? <laughs> you bet. So notice when you begin to put that energy from resisting, which creates the inner friction, imagine just putting that energy towards just accepting, this is how you feel. This is how it feels, right? This is what I'm experiencing right now. And notice how in that moment, the energy that's going towards avoidance can actually be used in a very proactive way. You know, people sometimes wish for positive emotions, thinking that's when your life will change. But in reality, even positive emotions can equal something bad for your life. Think about this, people have murdered each other in the name of love. Positive emotions can also lead to something very bad for you. Vice versa, negative emotions can actually lead to something positive for you. You heard of the story of Alfred Nobel? You know, Alfred Nobel, he woke up one morning reading the newspaper, he was shocked to discover he was dead. Now, if that sounds confusing, imagine how he felt. There it was in front of him, it said, the merchant of death is finally dead. If you aren't aware of Alfred Nobel's background, he was, a, he was an experimenter, um, somebody who was experimenting different works in terms of science, and some of his work was actually used to make explosives. So people were celebrating the fact that he had passed away. The only problem was they didn't realize it was his brother that passed away, not him. He ended up reading this and he went into such a dark depressive state because he's thinking everyone hates me and everyone wants and wishes that I was dead. And he, in that moment, felt this emotion that we normally suppress, regret. In this dark place in the corner of the room, he was beating himself up, regretting, regretting his entire life. But all of a sudden, he decided to choose to respond to it differently. He thought, what can I do now to live a life without this, this sense? And he began to channel this energy of regret and allowed it to guide him towards making new choices so he doesn't feel that way again. And several years later, when he actually died for real, the newspaper was celebrating his life, not the fact that he just died. And if you aren't aware why, 
is because he decided to donate all of the, you know, most of the money he had earned throughout his career towards research, advancing humankind, and created the very famous prize that we've heard of called the Nobel Prize to gift to individuals who are advancing our humankind. So the chances are today, when you think about Alfred Nobel, you're not thinking about somebody who was involved with explosives, you're thinking about somebody who is prized and treasured. Making sense? The very negative emotion was re of regret was the very fuel that fueled his positive outcome. Is everyone seeing this, by the way? So what I'm trying to get at is this. Any emotions, when you learn to surf it well, you can truly thrive. So if you happen to feel a specific set of emotions right now and it's not going well, choose to ride the actual wave. Learn to surf the waves instead of drowning in the waves.